struggle that on food food channel to launching your own restaurant chain, which is the Punjabi Tarka. What inspired you to do so? Uh, actually, uh, the journey all began with uh, my television show Turban Tarka and uh, uh, it became very popular. There was a lot of fun elements uh, in the television show and every time I would meet up with people, uh, they would ask me, can we have food from your hands? And that's what inspired me uh, to open restaurants so that, uh, you know, I could open restaurants in various locations uh, where recipes were actually cooked uh, by people who were trained by me and at times people would see me in their restaurant also. So I thought uh, this is a medium which uh, helps you connect directly with people and uh, restaurants would be the best option because television, of course, uh, uh, gives you an option to reach out to people, but that touch feel is what people want to understand and uh, that uh, is where it comes from the restaurants is where it comes from and uh, that's how restaurant chains happened and people got excited also at the same time to partner with me to open restaurants that's how the restaurant chain started you know? uh, since you travel to various places yeah. one special dish or any ingredient from india that you would like to launch in the global space Wow, uh, that's uh, actually uh, the most difficult uh, thing, honestly, uh, because uh, the world uh, does not uh, know about Indian food yet. Uh, because in the last two years, I'm seeing, of course, there, there's been a growth of uh, an acceptance of Indian food because economies have opened up, people have traveled, uh, everybody understands food. And, and everybody from outside of India also have traveled to various parts. I mean, it's just not about being in Bombay or Delhi or Bangalore. Uh, they've also traveled to places like Bhubaneswar, maybe Patna, you know, maybe Varanasi, maybe uh, Lucknow for that matter, Udaipur, Jaipur for travel circuit, Kerala also for travel circuit. So uh, people have been trying to explore and travel all across the country and they've been understanding that there's more... Uh, uh, to Indian food than just about butter chicken and a naan and a dal uh, and that's what is opening up the market and I, I still personally feel that as a chef I'm yet to explore India in its fullest form because India has so much to offer uh, that most of the time that uh, I read about a new product coming out uh, like the latest one was uh, you know rice starch uh, when I saw in uh, the markets of Europe and in Hong Kong, I was quite amazed that poor people in Odisha and West Bengal eat this as their regular meal and that was being sold as probiotic uh, drink uh, across uh, the world. So that actually surprised me and I said India is a place, it has so many ingredients, uh, we are yet to actually explore uh, and, uh, the natural reserves and the food of India. Uh, and I think uh, chefs play a big part uh, in it. Uh, I would be biased in saying that you no know, saffron is good or uh, Arjun Chal from Kerala is good. So Arjun Chal is such a beautiful thing. Uh, it uh, you know defies all the water purifiers we install in homes. So one strip of Arjun Chal in water clears up everything. So you don't need a water purifier. Purified. So we have so much to offer in the uh, space of food uh, that we are yet to tell the world what we've got. And I, I think uh, there's a there's lot of responsibility uh, with uh, people like us as chefs to actually uh, showcase all of this to the world. Since you travel to various places, yeah. one special dish or ingredient from India that you would like to learn in the global space and world? Uh, uh, actually, uh, you know, it uh, would be complete injustice to India if I would say that uh, there is just one ingredient. India has so much of, uh, 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 so much to offer actually, a plethora of ingredients, uh, 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 arena of, uh, you know, complete uh, food which is uh, yet to showcase. But the economy is opening up over the last two years. What's happened is we've seen that people have been traveling all across within the country and from outside the world, not just to Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore, People are traveling to Hyderabad, maybe Banaras uh, for, you know, religious uh, tourism, for uh, uh, Lucknow uh, and uh, Jaipur, Udaipur for travel circuits, Kerala uh, for travel circuit, uh, maybe to Bhubaneswar for business. So India is actually opening up uh, uh, its uh, many cities and that's where people are tasting the local delights. And I believe there's so much to offer uh, from uh, the Indian space uh, in terms of food. I, I personally call India as Amazon of food, unexplored. Northeast, we don't even touch as of now. We don't even know what's happening there. Uh, Jharkhand, we don't even know what kind of food they eat. But I tell you, 
uh, once upon a time when I believed, or India itself and the governance itself believed that we have too many tribals living in India, which is a USP of many governments, which I think they should believe, and we as chefs also should learn from them, because tribals do not have access to medication, to proper water, uh, to proper living, yet they are healthier. Uh, you see yourself, the Indian hockey team uh, has so many people from Jharkhand and places like that. How do they live well? Just because they eat right. I mean, another simple example is if you look at uh, the Arjun Chal as an ingredient, put it in water, it purifies the water. You don't even need a water purifier at home. India has so much to offer in terms of food ingredients uh, that I think uh, one lifetime is really less uh, for us to explore as chefs also. And we need uh, a lot of uh, cohesive working together as a lot of people should work together to showcase what India can um, uh, actually show to the world that what we have got beyond Ayurveda, beyond uh, dal makhani and butter naan, butter chicken I would say. Punjabi Tarka, any other projects in the pipeline? Uh, yes, uh, I, I think uh, in my early days I got investors who actually were, were interested and uh, I opened quite a lot of restaurants. In eight months we managed to open five restaurants and then I exited because uh, the place of work was in Calcutta and that was hampering my media space in Bombay. And every time I had to travel, uh, there was a problem. And that was the beginning of uh, creating my individual brand. Uh, and now, uh, yes, within Bombay space, uh, I've got a QSR format called Dharoom, which is the largest uh, growing uh, brand in India as of now. In last one year, we have opened about 26 of them. And 15 are in pipeline. And this is all across the country. I've partnered with Yellow Tie Hospitality, which is a franchising management company. On my own, I run a large format restaurants uh, called Twist of Tarka, uh, the uh, BB Jan and the Treasury. The Treasury is opening up in Hong Kong and in Boston. So we're trying to explore uh, the market across the world and showcase uh, food uh, uh, in the right form, uh, which is great Indian food. And uh, there's lots of pipeline also. Uh, eventually now the market uh, is uh, opening up to dark kitchens uh, and uh, people want to cook themselves, which is a good sign actually. And uh, I'm sure uh, there is space for us to enter in many more arenas uh, in food, uh, and which we will uh, launch in time to come. So the last is, yeah. could you please say your famous signature <laughs> phrase for our audience? Yes, uh, I mean, something that connects me uh, to every kitchen in the country and the world, just not India, I would say, uh, is the simple ingredient, uh, which is the love of my life, namak shamak. So that's for you, everybody who's listening to me. Namak shamak, namak shamak. Dal dete hai, namak shamak. Life without salt is just useless. Be it a religious space or be it the kitchen. So enjoy your life with a little bit of salt. Let's spread happiness.